All right, let's talk about Dog. Dog is a movie I was actually really excited to see because Channing Tatum, who, and before I actually go into that, let's talk about Channing Tatum for a second. In the early 2010s, I was not a Channing Tatum fan at all. I thought basically everything he was in was terrible, or if, or if the movie itself wasn't terrible, his acting was terrible. Other than the 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street movies, which I think are hilarious, I did not like him as an actor. And then in the mid 2010s and up, especially when he was in like The Hateful Eight and a lot of movies after that, I kind of started to warm up to him after that. I thought, you know, he did a lot better job with his acting and the movies that he was picking were actually a lot more entertaining. So I was really looking forward to this movie just for the fact that he was in it. And it's about a man and his dog going on a road trip and he co-directed it. So going into the movie, I was like, you know what? Movie about a man and a dog road tripping down. This sounds awesome. And now, the trailers for this movie can be a bit deceiving. This movie, yes, it's about a man and his dog, and it's about the relationship. It isn't as kid-friendly as maybe the trailers made it sound. I saw this movie in actually a pretty packed theater, and from people from ages of like maybe five years old all the way up to, uh, there was probably some people in their 70s in that theater. And when the credits rolled, there was an older lady behind me, probably in her 60s or something. The first thing out of her mouth was, that is not what I signed up for. And then there was, you know, there was some laughter by the people she was with. And then after a little bit of a beat, she goes, I thought this was going to be like Marley and me. So the trailers kind of deceive it a little bit because this movie is actually much more of a drama than the trailers really make it out to sound. And that's not a bad thing at all because I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thought Chang Tatum did a great job in this movie. I thought the relationship built upon him and the dog was fantastic. So what do I mean by the trailers don't really kind of show what this movie really is? So by drama... I mean, the dog has post-traumatic stress disorder. He has a bunch of things that he's going through. And then Channing Tatum himself also has a bunch of stuff he's going through. And we see that in this movie. It's not just some throwaway line where they go, oh, Channing Tatum, he has issues he has to work out. Or the dog whose name is Lulu. Or, you know, Lulu has issues they have to work out. We see those issues come head to head. And we see the fact that the dog... Lulu and Channing Tatum are at odds this entire movie basically and then they slowly kind of start coming together and start trying to understand each other and it's the whole uh, post-traumatic stress disorder thing that kind of brings them together and they kind of have to end up relying on each other and it's that kind of a movie and it's basically that story while they're road tripping down to go to a friend's funeral as we see in the trailer so it has its funny moments and it really is thoroughly entertaining. I think Channing Tatum did a great job. I love the dog Lulu in the movie. The dog was really awesome as well. And the story was really solid. And we encounter new characters along the way that help our characters grow and everything. And then by the end of the movie, uh, Lulu and Channing Tatum, I mean, they, they grow together as characters. And that's what I really, really liked about this movie. It's not like they started in one place and they finished in the same exact place. There is a journey to go on in this movie. And that's what I thought the movie did really, really well. But yes, it's not anything like the trailers. It's not some like <laughs> buddy movie where it's comedy all over the place. Uh, but it still is a really solid movie. And I want to talk about Bill Burr for a second, because if you've seen the trailers, Bill Burr is in this movie. He plays a cop in this movie. I'm a huge Bill Burr fan. If you're a Bill Burr fan, you're going to love him in this movie. And it's it's not some short cameo either. Uh, he's got at least, I want to say, at least like four or five minutes of screen time, which I guess it is in a bunch of screen time, but it's a lot more than just like a 30-second cameo, which I from the trailers is what I thought it was going to be in this movie. But he has a good like four or five minutes, and he was absolutely great. He's funny. I mean, it's Bill Burr. If you like Bill Burr, you're going to like him in this movie too. So here's the thing when it comes to Dog. Um, definitely if you're looking forward to seeing this movie, I would definitely recommend seeing it. And if you don't want to see it in the, the theaters, I definitely recommend watching it as soon as it comes to streaming. I would say if you have kids probably the age 12 and under, maybe it wouldn't be the best movie for those. Mostly because, and it's not really even a language aspect, I just don't know if they would understand some of the tones. So they might kind of get fidgety and a little bit bored, which some of the kids in my theater were doing. Because it's more of an adult movie, uh, even though the trailers don't kind of portrayed as that so um i would say if you have any kids 12 or under they probably won't care for it but you know kids 12 and up and if you were looking forward to this movie just know that it's 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 a little bit different than the trailers made out to be but it's definitely worth your watch and i definitely recommend it